Alter Eco's Darren Moore gives me a lesson in living green. Hmm. I wonder how many gallons this guy holds. My home will never be the same. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Can you put that back? So let's see the difference between these two. Okay, that's nine watts. Yeah, and that's a 60. I have a feeling I'm in trouble. Mm -hmm. It's the master bathroom. I know I'm probably using too much water. Let's check it out. Hmm. I wonder how many gallons this guy holds. But look at that thing. I mean, look at it. If you didn't have this glass partition, you could just you'd shower the whole room. My standpoint on this is don't give up your luxury. Let's take this water and let's use it to irrigate your yard. That's brilliant. Let's do something with it. It's a meditation technique for you. Really? You know, and you don't need the water. But you don't Okay, clean. so maybe not. Yeah, maybe <laughs> not. I mean, for you to come out and support what's happening globally, I want to thank you for that. Well, thanks. It's my privilege. This is Billy Idol. I want you to listen to the Eco MacGyver. It's an adventure working with Ed. He calls me up on Friday and he says, Hey, uh, buddy, I need you to come over. I'm doing a remodeling the studio above the garage. He was very helpful. Uh, he built our stairs, which are of some eco thing that's never going to wear away. It's worth it now, but what a tunnel of pain to go through six months of chaos. I needed to go up to the office. The stairs were not done. You know what we did do is we set up a ladder over there. And he's going up and down there, and he's carrying like newspaper and a tea and a bag. and. Uh, then he's got his laptop going up and back and forth, and he finally gets to the top, and the stairs were ready to be walked on. He's still going up and down the ladder. My whole mission today is to take off anything that I think can be reused before it gets damaged. Old materials, building materials that ordinarily would just go in a big dumpster when you're doing a project. Check that out. That's totally urban. We should make a fashion show. We'll have Rochelle in there. Just this. Stuff that I can't use for belts and fashion shows. It's just gonna get recycled and this will go directly to a metal yard. You would not believe how much of this good material is sitting in places where they recycle it, waiting to be ground up. And I'm thinking, man, we could be making things out of this. That's a good piece of wood. Darren did a great job of recycling 96% of the, the waste from this construction site. Scrap wood and wood that we couldn't use at all here on site. He recycled to this restaurant that needed to make tables out of. We're gonna go look at this stuff in the restaurant and see how it looks. I'm excited to do that. All right, you ready to go? Darren, hey. beautiful. I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's have a little bike ride here. Ed and I are gonna go on this bike ride and I've never ridden with Ed before. This is the first time. Try to be gentle with the old man, would you? I will. Don't punish me too bad. I'll do my best. This is a 30-year-old, very fit young man. And I'm going to ride a bicycle 10 miles each way, 20 miles round trip over very steep hills with a 30-year-old. So, and I will be 60 in a few, you know, minutes, basically. It was such a great opportunity to be able to bring this material from Ed's house and reuse it when they just opened this place up and they needed tables. And, you know, a startup company, they don't have a lot of money to buy things. Junk is in the eye of the beholder. We get in there, and Ed's having a look over the menu, and of course he picks the most wacky thing on there. I gotta have the flourish plate, y'all. I thought he said y'all just to be, you know, ingratiating or something. Right there, I don't make this stuff up. <laughs> but that's actually the name of the dish. Help me, help me eat cupcakes and mingle with the folks. Try on some lipstick. I don't know how that happened, but you know, it got a little crazy. Okay, this one says 50 bucks on the fridge. These are the nicest appliances that you can buy. God, I struck oil! <laughs> oh. It's a big difference, man. That's good. Much better. Frosty, come here. Let's see. Which one do you like? Which one do you like? So there's just one last thing I want to show you guys over here. Watch this. Double action. Composting and recycling. Angela brought me down here to meet Danny and Sean. I'll be over here for the next week helping the guys green over this club. And they're in a tight schedule just like we all are. I mean, there's so much going on that it's something I could take care of, so I volunteer to help out.
They're spending a lot more money to do this club. Then I think they're ultimately going to pocket that money in the end. You know, payback from the sound system, from the electrical. Looks like I'm done here, Rudy. Let me get down. If people see that sustainability is marketable, and that there's a model here that works for another club, then I think they would definitely adopt some of these features. And I think that it's going to attract uh, a new crowd of people that care about this kind of thing. See you later. Bye, Take care.